Hello lovely people of Exeter Cathedral Cloister Club. It's Canon Moena here again and today I'm going to be telling you some stories about two people who lived a very long time ago. But these two people are precious to us in this part of the world because they are Saint Petroc, who is one of the patron saints of Cornwall and whose saint's day it was on Friday and Saint Boniface, who's the patron saint of Devon, and whose saint's day it was yesterday on Saturday. So who were these people and why do we still talk about them? Well, Petroc lived about 500 years after Jesus did. That's over 1,500 years ago from today. He lived in Britain, and this was a Britain which the Romans had visited and many of the Romans had left and gone away again. Devon and Cornwall together formed a kingdom called Dumnonia. Now the stories say that Petroc was the son of a Welsh king, but actually we don't know very much about his childhood. He probably went to school in a monastery. Now a monastery is a house where a group of men or women lived together to devote their lives to God. You could call it a kind of a God club, if you like. These people would spend their time praying to God, growing their food and raising their own animals and helping the local community. And one of the ways in which they helped the locals was to set up schools. There were very few schools in Petrock's day and if you wanted to learn to read and write, you would go to a monastery where they kept books and taught young people. Now, sometimes that would not be enough for the brightest and the best, and Petroc was one of those. He decided that he wanted to travel to another monastery further away from home. He must have been a very brave man because even though travel in those days was very hard, they say that Petroc travelled to Ireland and even as far as Rome. But one day Petroc wanted, he decided to set up his own monastery and he travelled to the kingdom of Dumnonia, just across the sea from Wales to what is now the north coast of Cornwall. He landed somewhere near Padstow and he set up a monastery and a school in a place called Lan Weathernock. That's a lovely Cornish name for you. But in time, that place grew bigger and it came to be called Padstow, which means Petroc's place in Cornish. Now, there are various stories told about St. Petroc. One story says that he trained a wolf to be his pet dog. The dog was very faithful to him and never strayed from his side. It must have been reassuring for Petroc to have him by his side on his journeys. Another story tells of his kindness to wild animals. A local king, they say, was out hunting near the place that Petroc was staying. All of a sudden, a young deer crashed through the bushes, terrified by being chased. And she was quickly followed by the king and the other huntsmen. The king demanded the deer, but Petroc, quite bravely, with all those men on horses with their weapons, he decided to defend the deer and he refused to give her up. It must have been very scary. And this is why you sometimes see pictures of Petroc with a wolf and a deer. So here I've got two pictures of the saints. We've got Petroc on the left here with a wolf. That's Boniface and we'll come to him in a minute. And here, if you can see a map, you can see Wales here and Petroc just travelled over to the north coast of Cornwall. Although, as I said, he may also have been to Ireland as well. But on the next picture, you can see that this is someone's modern interpretation of Petroc, a lovely Playmobil Petroc with a deer and a wolf by his side. I think that's fantastic. So what then about Saint Boniface? Well, Boniface was born in Devon. 
He was born about 700 years after Jesus. And the tribes had come over to Britain from various German lands in Europe. And the country was ruled by several kings. And we often call those rulers the Anglo-Saxons. Now, some people say that Boniface was born in Crediton, just to the north of Exeter. But the first thing we really know about him for sure is that he joined the monastery in Exeter when he was a young man, perhaps just a teenager. So like Petroc, he went to school in a monastery to learn how to read and study. In time, Boniface grew up to be a fine teacher. He wrote a book on how to read and write, which was used for children um, and by children for hundreds of years. But Boniface wanted to be a missionary, to travel and tell people about God. Now, do you remember I, that I said that England was ruled by Anglo-Saxon kings? In that time, most people began to speak Anglo-Saxon, which was the same language as that used in the countries we now call Holland and Germany. So just as the Anglo-Saxons came to England, Boniface went back the other way to northern Germany. So if we look at our map again, here's England and Boniface travelled all of that way to Germany and the heart of Europe to talk to them about God. Now many people in those days, people in England and people in Europe, in Germany, still thought that God was some kind of object you had to worship, a statue perhaps, or something like a tall tree or a majestic rock. And Boniface wanted to tell them that God had a personal love and came to the world in the person of Jesus Christ, a human being born as a child like all of us. Once Boniface found some people worshipping a tree in a forest and he dared to cut that tree down the tree was supposed to be in honour of the thunder god and it crashed to the ground and as it did so people were terrified that the thunder god would take its revenge but that never happened instead there was the tree it had lain on the ground in four big pieces lying in the shape of a cross and that was boniface's opportunity to tell people about jesus and soon the word spread and the story of Jesus and God's love for the world in Jesus spread and spread. And Boniface is still remembered to this day in Germany for his teaching about God. And that's why you can sometimes see pictures of Boniface with an axe. Do you remember that was the axe that he used to cut down the tree in the forest that people were worshipping? So we are remembering Boniface and Petroc today, the saints of the southwest of England, because they were both brave men who stood up for what they believed in. They both went on long journeys when that was a dangerous thing in order to tell other people about the God who loved them. And they both stood up for this way of love, even when others got in their way and threatened them. Petroc saved the deer because he knew that God loves and cares for all of his creation. Boniface chopped down the tree because he wanted people to realise that God is not a tree, but rather someone who loves them just as a parent loves a child. Sometimes I think it's hard to stand up for what we believe in, isn't it? Especially when people are being nasty to us or if they threaten us. But Petroc and Boniface knew that God was with them. And remembering these men can help us to remember that God is with us too. When we stand up against people who are being cruel and when we stand up for the way of love, which is God's way. So now I'm going to close with a prayer. This prayer, we think, was written by Boniface. 
Eternal God, the refuge and help of all your children, we praise you for all you have given us, for all you have done for us, for all that you are to us. In our weakness, you are strength. In our darkness, you are light. In our sorrow, you are comfort and peace. We cannot number your blessings. We cannot declare your love. For all your blessings, we praise you. May we live in your presence and love the things you love and serve you every day of our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.